Welcome back to the broadcast. Uh, we are here on the round table. CPA Enoch Munari joins us this morning to expound more on the budget. He's really been wanting us to talk about this. But then again, it gets us when we have not discussed it, but not too late also. Because then again, it happens today, if at all is going to happen. And, uh, you know, amid that contest in court by, of course, Kenyan Human Rights Commission, trying to contest this, says that, uh, of course, Rotit should not proceed with the moves of tabling the budget because, then again, it's unconstitutional. I don't know to what point it is unconstitutional, just to pick up uh, some of the things that uh, sort of make it sound as though it's unconstitutional. This is what they say. Of course, KHRC has moved to court to stop the tabling of the budget estimates, considering it an illegality and unconstitutional. The Division of Revenue Bill must be passed before the tabling of the budget estimates. A statement from the Commission reads, the Division of Revenue Bill dictates that the sharing of revenue raised nationally between the two levels of government. However, the mediation talks between the National Assembly and Senate teams have stalled, and we also have seen at some point in time Senate being in support of this. Uh, what do you make of it as we, as we delve in deeper into what we expect from the budget? Uh, thank you so much, uh, Linda, mm -hmm. and I'm happy that uh, it is uh, the budget day today. Yeah. Of course, we need a lot of time to be able to go through all this. Probably tomorrow will be the perfect day after mm -hmm. we've heard what the CS has to say. Yeah. But uh, what I can say is that we have an existing budget-making process, mm. and that is inched in law. Yeah. And the CS Treasury has to ensure mm -hmm. that as he prepares for the budget, mm -hmm. he has He's followed good. the law. Yeah. Because we know when he's supposed to, prepare, to present a policy paper before Parliament mm -hmm. for discussion and approval, right. when we are supposed to discuss the Division of Revenue Bill, which is a critical bill because that is what actually shows how much is going to the counties mm -hmm. and how much is remaining in the, in the national government. Yes. So by Rotich going ahead to actually uh, present the budget before Parliament, mm. showing how much he has allocated to the counties without the Division Revenue Bill uh, for 2019-2020, yeah. it actually is illegal. Mm. But again, then we'll have to ask ourselves, why wait until the very last day mm. for, for KHRC to, to move to court? Because we knew because that this is going to... Yes. Yeah. What is the effect of the budget not being presented today and being passed? Because we know we are only 18 days mm -hmm. to the end of the financial year, mm -hmm. and the government must have approval from parliament to be able to spend so what will the effect be if the courts go ahead and suspend the process mm. and we have to start the process all over again mm. or start looking at the division of the revenue bill? Yeah. So it really it's important that Treasury gets it right, right. in terms of the budget-making process mm -hmm. so that we don't end up in the situations we have, like we had in Campo County the other day, yeah. where the MCS actually refused to, to discuss to and dis yes. pass the budget, mm -hmm. and it was very chaotic. Yeah. So it's, it's really important that we, 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 we follow the process. All right.